Your fourth title. Right yes. Your first in six years. Is this the sweetest of the four that you have? Absolutely. Yep. This is the best. Down that right there. This one means the most to me by far. <laughs> so I'm just happy I was able to do it. We closed really hard. Did you and get any of your splits on our last? I, we were definitely under 60 seconds. Um, Alberto had prepared Mary and I, and we kind of went in that we were going to work together, and we did that. <laughs> Are you are, every every race? It looks like, hey, I'm going to PR on this one. Have you ever? What what's been the biggest factor about this year that's turned your career around? I haven't been worried about the times. Um, we've just raced every race. The goal was always to be top three, and that's what I've done. I think pre was the only one I finished fifth, but that was world class competition. So the goal was always to keep practicing, just finishing, and the times have just come off of just racing. So Alberto's really done a great job with me on that, and I'm older, so I have the experience, but I'm also not scared. Anymore. Anymore. I have nothing to lose at this point. Trinir, you and Kane go straight to the front in the prelim and take things over. You go straight to the back in the final. Where does that confidence come from? Alberto. <laughs> he just told us exactly what to do and we believe everything he says and I think that's helped. So the plan was to go to the back just to stay out of trouble because 15 is so tactical and he just didn't want us to go down or fall or anything and he knew that we could really close hard because Mary has that speed. I haven't run a good 800 yet. I just haven't had the opportunity but we know my 800 is there. We think I can run 158 now. So it's just a matter of having confidence, and we definitely have that. Any anxiety when like, you're sitting at the back, just going, so like, man, Albert, I don't, I don't know if this is the right move here. I'm starting to panic. A lot of it was patience. Um, I think because I'm older, I have the patience, and I'm a little more mellowed out, but I was getting anxious. So it was just staying patient and waiting till the race got going, and that's what happened. Trenier can obviously make a team. Trenier is running PRs. Can Trenier you know, put her nose in an international competition. I think so. Um, the goal is to make the team and the next goal is to medal. That's the been the goal of our group. Oregon Project is about meddling. Um, we have two guys that have done it so far, so we just know we can do it. The training is there and I still have a couple of months before Moscow now. So honestly, I'm just excited to go back and train hard and get ready. What was your mental process like going in that last 100 meters? Uh, you know, in the last 50 meters you probably knew you had the team locked up but you gave the extra to win. Was there some motivation to beat your teammate Mary there and it was my motivation as soon as I knew I was gonna make the team I wanted to win um, I've won three of these and it's been a long time and I just wanted a fourth one I've always wanted a fourth one so this fourth title it means the world to me and that's what I really really wanted so that was my motivation to getting to the line first Alberto told me to get ugly the last hundred and I did that <laughs> What are you feeling like right now after, after all this? On cloud nine. I mean, I'm 30 or one years old and I'm keeping up with a 17 year old. So <laughs> I never thought I would have the energy to do that. But um, I'm just so happy where I'm at and what the future holds for me. Um, I was kind of taking it year to year, but now I'm starting to look more long term and maybe to Rio now. So that's just a great feeling. I mean, at this point, all I can say is never give up. At one point, I gave up on myself and now I just. I'm glad I did. You're six years younger than Bernard Lagan. I am, and look at him. He's a really good friend of mine. So I always look to him for advice. What's going through your mind on the whole straight there in the end? Get ugly. That's what we've been working on with me. Alberto says I'm a pretty runner, and he's like, I need you to get ugly. So that's what I just thought. I just like, you need to dig as deep as you can to finish. And that's what got me to number one today. <laughs> dynamic in our group and the chemistry is good with the coaches and the staff and just with the athletes. So I think it's just helped us to train at the highest level and wanting to perform at the highest level. When Galen and Dathan went one two, everybody got out together to celebrate together. Tell us how much that meant to help you and Mary. I missed that on the celebration because I had to go to the bed. But I heard it was amazing. Everyone else was downstairs. So I watched the races on my computer in the lobby while everyone else was watching the NBA finals. But um it was amazing. Um, just to see them do that. I mean, even our girls, they finished two and three. That was that was awesome. <laughs> Since you train with Mary, talk about that finish, your confidence in getting her, and you know you know each other well. Yeah, we do. Um, once I saw her go, it just gave me the strength, like, I know I have another gear, I know I have another gear. So it was just digging to get that other gear. I knew I had it because my speed has come around a great deal in the last probably month because I've been tapering a lot off my high mileage. So I knew... I could close very hard and she honestly we just help each other we give each other strength and I think that's why we ended up
up going one two today. <laughs> so this year, your whole season's kind of we kind of turned around your career. It did. How did you get hooked up with Alberto and? <sighs> My husband works at Nike, and I was just there at Nike training. I had decided I was kind of done, and I was just running because I love running. And Alberto literally saw me running and picked me up off the street almost. Um, he saw me, and he was just like, what are you doing? And I just told him that I wasn't doing anything. I'm just running, and he invited me. We talked, and he just invited me to train. With the what do you think the biggest difference is? Or... I mean, you were, you were done, you were done, you were done um, with running, right? Now you're looking to medal and the confidence. I, I just had none. And I, that was the one, number one thing I told Alberto. I have no confidence. And he's really worked on building my confidence this year. And How does he do that? Just telling you you're good. And just pushing you every day. Just getting that little that little bit you don't think is there. He finds it. And he just forces you to dig deep. And work out everything. Um, so it's day to day. He just... Is it harder just, or easier? What's the workout? It's way harder. Um, just to get here. To just took every ounce of energy all year that I had to get back here. We really train hard. People don't think, like I have all, people think I have all this free time and I have none. It's really a nine to five job and more just because my personal life ends up bleeding and my career, my career ends up bleeding in my personal life. So I'm constantly training. Rest is key. So, I mean, we train a lot. Like I'm running 80 to 90 miles a week, whereas before I was only doing like 60. So he just figures, he's figured it out. He's figured out how to make us world class and pretty much metal contenders. Did you wear the 